All right, my name's Eric Seelig. I'm with Three Elements Timberworks. I'm also the regional rep for the state of Colorado for Liam Boo, and I'm here with Rob Sinclair of Sinclair Architecture. And we're in one of his projects that he just finished up using a whole bunch of bamboo here. And uh, just want to talk to him a little bit about how we like the material, how we found out about it, and um, how the process went as far as procuring the material and installing it. So tell me a little bit about like when we first met and how you got the uh, samples and how your client liked it. So Eric's pretty good about um, uh, keeping in touch. We've been uh, we've been chasing a, a different project for a number of years, and it just um, it kind of never came to fruition. But uh, Eric did present uh, Lambu to me um, on one of his visits, and like you do sometimes with other samples, you say, "Well, that's nice," and you put it in your sample room. And, um, but I had some clients come in that had. Uh, slightly out of date uh, local Asian restaurant. In downtown Aspen. Downtown Aspen. Yeah. I said, well, you know, here's an opportunity. Redesign, refresh the aesthetic. Um, I remember the sample that I had when I grabbed it and it, it sort of immediately resonated with the clients and myself and I had a vision for the space were able to basically do this entire project down to the studs and back up in 90 days this past wow. fall, which is pretty remarkable and um, speaks to you know the reliability of supply chain and because we used this in a number of different ways. As you can see, sort of the you know the slatted ceiling detail and wall details and partitions, um, as well as the countertop, we had uh, these custom uh, wine refrigerators made, and those were um, fa actually fabricated in California. We were really pleased with um, you know, our, our working relationship and on the supply side, and then you know, I think the aesthetic really been well received. The clients are really happy. The clientele is very happy. I can't tell you how many random phone calls and texts I've gotten at 9, 10 o'clock at night from people that, that came to the restaurant for the first time, found out that I was the architect and designer, and you were just very complimentary about uh, the aesthetic and the change. And if you'd seen the space before, it is it was very, it's complete transformation. Uh -huh. We take it as an opportunity to, to rebrand the restaurant. The font, I worked with a graphic designer, a local graphic designer. We created the font and it is basically you know, the size and scale and proportion of the, the wall slats that we used for, for the Lambo. So it is part of the DNA of this project. Yeah, sure. that's great. Was there any other like alternates there? Or were they pretty much, they saw that, you saw that, and that's what you were like, that's really cool. Well, this, you know, I wanted this to be sophisticated. So we blended it with a number of materials, um, the bark panels behind yeah. the bar. And it all you know, really came together, I think, as a, a sophisticated mountain Asian flair, you know, contemporary restaurant. And all, all these pieces, they fabricated these here in town? Correct. Yeah. yeah, so we got the raw material and then fabricated all the wall panels, the ceiling panels. And those actually come out in sections. So those, I think, are two or four foot wide sections. It all has to be removable to get to the um, to, to the, the lighting. Sure. One of the one of the initial concerns, you know, the the slatted walls and even here at the entry, um, are these going to warp or rack or? And you know, I called you up and did a little research myself, and the dimensional stability is remarkable. 